Bonafide Hustle here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the number one bike that you should be looking out for that sells really quick. What's going on guys and gals? Chris the Bonafide Hustler comes to you live from the inside of my garage gym. Oh, the Bod Damn Gym. You should subscribe to Bod Damn, by the way. It's my workout channel. Go check it out at Bod Damn. But in this video, the most important thing that we wanna talk about is this bike that's about to sell. Um, and uh, it's just the number one bike. Every time I find this bike, it sells quick and there's such a high demand for it. And I wanna make sure that you guys know about it. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Bonafide Hustler. And also if you wanna learn, you know, I guess 50 other things to buy and resell for cash, then uh, look at this guide. It's the first link down below. Go pick it up, it's free. All right, so what is the bike? It's sitting right here. This is the famous Electra Townie. The Electra Townie has been around for, gosh, over a decade. It is just an incredible bike. It looks kind of lame, I know, I understand. It looks kind of lame. It is an actual uh, like urban cruiser slash almost like a hybrid style bike uh, made by a company called Electra out of California. And uh, the Townie series is just, like it says, it's kind of for cruising around the town. Um, this bike I picked up the other day, for example, I picked up, this is probably the 30th or 40th Townie that I've probably resold by now, okay? Um, they come in so many different models, um, but I'm gonna walk you through this one and why this one's worth, you know, what it will sell for today, which is around 400 bucks. I picked this up for $70, like not too long ago at Goodwill, within a week ago. So I've been asking like the moon for this thing, like 500 bucks and someone offered me 400, I'm gonna take it because realistically, that's just where the market is right now. Uh, with the shortage of bikes and all that kind of stuff and bike frames, um, you know, bikes like this, um, which were originally about 549 or so, um, are still selling for very high amounts of money at 400 or so. Um, so when I found this at a Goodwill in mint condition, it was a no brainer at $70. Now, some people out there might be going, well, I would never spend 70 bucks on a bike, um, you know, because who knows what it's gonna sell for. If you live in a town that has like Velaways and green belts and bike paths, and you see people on bikes, you've got to learn about the Electra Townie. This bike does come in uh, several uh, configurations, like I said earlier. One of them is like a single speed, then there's a three speed version, a seven speed version, and then a 21 speed version, okay? And as you go up in the speeds, the price will go higher as well. Comes in a woman's and a men's configuration. So here with a step through frame, we can see how the frame is going down like this. So like someone with a skirt can like just, you know, put their leg across and start riding the bike. This is more of a women's uh, townie right here. Now, the frame sizing for women's and men's, it's all one size fits all kind of thing. So you don't have to know if it's a small, medium, large, or anything like that. It's all one size when it comes to the townie. But if you ever find a townie and you don't know if it's a men's or kind of like a women's, um, you know, women like to get on men's townies, but a lot of times men don't like to buy women's townies, if that makes any sense. So uh, having a step through frame is pretty cool. Having a good paint scheme like this, or the red one, or the white one, or the cream colored one is pretty cool too. Um, I said before that when it gets to, you know, bigger speeds, like this one's a 21D, so it has 21 speeds. There are seven speeds up here with this shifter and three with this one right here. Three times seven, 21, three gears in the front, seven gears in the back. That's where the 21 comes from. Um, they're all made of aluminum as well, so they're relatively light. And they have this interesting thing called flat foot pedal technology. And that basically means that where the person is sitting is not technically over the crank. As you can see, it's kind of wacky, right? Like most bikes, the seat would be up here somewhere. But this one, the seat is way back behind the cranks, which makes for a really almost like chopper bike type feel when you're uh, riding this bike around. Um, so. It's a very controllable type feel, no back strain. So that's why the townie sells for like a lot of money is because a lot of people get it uh, that want to crack into biking uh, or people that want comfort, you know, no lower back strain or anything like that. Of course, as you can see, usually the seat is much lower than where the handlebars will be. And that's to keep that nice upright kind of stance as well. So um, if you're looking at townies and you kind of want to figure out, you know, is this thing in mid condition or whatever, take a look at the condition of the chain, the, you know, the rear gears, and the protective thing right here, see how this one's clear and nice looking? It's barely been used. Look at the color of the protective disc right here that protects when the chain comes off the graining gear and it doesn't wanna get wrapped up in the wheel. That's what this is for, right? Now you can obviously break those off and toss them in the trash later if you want to, but 
the condition of this one's nice and clear, as we can see right here. So this is clear, nice silver chain, clear gears right here, clear right here. This bike is clearly in mint condition. And if we wanted more confirmation about that, for example, we just look at the tires. Stock tires in great condition as well. Now, not all townies are gonna be in a condition like this. I would say, hmm, you know, 70% of the ones that I've resold have been in this kind of condition because they're not a type of bike that usually gets laid down or crashed a whole lot. They're very chill kind of rides. People ride them around town, then they put them on a bike rack, they take them back home, put them in a garage, kind of like that. These bikes don't find themselves on trails or going off steep ledges or anything like that. It's more like a cruiser type bike. Um, outside of that, um, you know, they usually work pretty well because they don't get crashed and they're not abused. So a lot of times the twist grip shifters and all that kind of stuff work perfectly fine. Um, if you find a townie that is around 150 or less um, or $100 or less, it's typically, it's very easy to sell these things for $300 or more. Like very, very, very easy. Um, with more rare colors and stuff like that. When the gears go up, for example, right? So there's like a single speed model, three speed model, seven speed model, and a 21 speed model. They also make models that are E-related, meaning they have a battery back here and it's like an e-bike. You're probably not gonna find one of those to resell, but you might find the one that has the front fork as well, like a front shock. And that one is the top of the models usually before it goes to an electric version. So if you find one out there that has a front shock, that's good um, because that's just more comfort and it's usually <laughs> higher priced. You know, that's a bike that's probably closer to bike. $800 new, maybe 700 bucks or something like that. So when you find it for hundred bucks, you can usually resell those for like 500 or something. Anyways, this one right here, 70 bucks out of Goodwill. Found it on a random Thursday morning last week. In fact, it hasn't even been a week. So found it on Thursday morning last week. It's been technically uh, like three and a half days, maybe, yeah, three and a half days, something like that. It's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna bring it to someone's house, not too far from here uh, for 400. So. It's a bike you want to know about, the Electro Townie. If you enjoyed this video and learned a couple things, then hit the like button down below. Follow all my stuff, and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. Goodbye.